going on YouTube? Uh, it's been a couple, it's been a while since I've posted an update. It's been busy, school started. I started a new program. I started going for the machinist program now. So that's, uh, I'm going three, four days a week. And uh, it keeps me busy, but I like it. It's fun, it's a fun, fun class and it's gonna be a good trade to know. But I wanna give you an update of what I've been doing here and there in between school and just little chance I can. Um, I got the new head on. Let me show you. I got the new head on, everything put back together. And uh, I fire it up a little bit and it runs. I just can't get it to idle. And I'm pretty sure because it's a carburetor. It still has the original carburetor. But I got to fire, I got to make some noise. It got compression, so I think I'm good to go. I got the exhaust manifold, I need to order a header. But in the meanwhile, since, I'm, it, since it's down, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna take off that valve cover, take it to class because we have a sandblaster at school. And I'm gonna sandblast it and clean the valve cover. But this is the intake I've been working on. I sandblasted it too. It made me a, a little block off plate for the EGR. I cut the vacuum lines, just like uh, Mazda Mitch shows on his YouTube videos. I used his directions and I drilled and tapped with his recommendations and I worked. This is some of the, some of the, the taps he said to use, they didn't have on these. On this, I used a tap that I had for these set screws, but it was still the same drill size that he used. But this is where I'm at. I drilled and tapped these. I already put the little set screw in. This, this tap and die set is super cheap. It's Pittsburgh, I mean, it's Harbor Freight. It does the job okay, but you just gotta be really careful. The blade, the, the taps, they dole out pretty quickly. But I was able enough to get these six here and I did that one too. On one neck last I have to do is this one. This is where the water port for the coolant to come out of. I gotta make sure I get the fitting the right fitting first so I know which tap to use. I don't want to tap it yet not knowing the exact thread. And this is just a this is where that little I don't know what kind of sensor thing was on, but I took it off. I'm gonna get a tap, I mean, a, a plug for that one and a plug for this one. This was like the coolant sensor switch or something. But yeah, I sandblasted it. I, I cut that bracket that was right here. There's like a little bracket that holds something just for vacuum lines. I still need to smooth down just a little bit more, but I smooth down the, some of the casting marks that it had, same thing here, and I just use a flat wheel. I still need to sandblast it one more time because I still got some gunk and stuff here and there. And I'll give a final hit with a flat wheel, try to get whatever I can, just smooth it out, round it out, get it nice and looking smooth before I paint it. And cut this, I'm gonna cut this off too. I don't, I don't need it, it doesn't need it. I'm gonna cut that off and then smooth it out there, smooth out edges, and then paint it. And then we'll put this back on and then we'll try to get the carburetor. I think before I put the carburetor on it, it didn't want to idle, but I forgot to put the little, like a little heater spacer. I didn't have to put that on, so I think that was why the main problem. But I got the heater spacer, new gaskets, and then I'll put that back together, nice and tight, intake on, and then and I'll try to make shift what I can with the exhaust for now so I get some money for the, the header. But I did order a new muffler. I got a cheapie off of Amazon. It's a total flow. Two inch in and out. It'll, it'll fit right up and nice in there and tuck. So I'll have to make sure I'll make sure it's not hitting when it's completely laid out. This is the one, let me get you. This is the one I got. I got off Amazon, 13, 14 bucks, two inch. We don't wanna go too big. The factory piping is not that big, but.
but yeah that's what um that's what i've been working with also i got me a a little shelf so i can start making some room off the floor this floor is really crowded and um got my little my little mazda wood cut out my friend gabe third you can look, look him up on gabe herrera art by gabe herrera on instagram he's a tattoo artist artist badass artist but he made that for me of this truck but um yeah that was just a quick update on where i'm at i still need to finish like i said i'm gonna finish the intake and paint it paint the valve cover and then we'll go from there i still need to finish the suspension but let me let me finish this motor stuff first and then i'll at least how I could get it. At least I know it's running. A little peace of mind. And I could work on it from the dry shaft. Dry shaft. Do the finish. The front brackets. And we'll go there. Still got a lot of work to do in this truck. But I've been trying. Here and there as I go. As I can. Little times in between school. And uh, today is like a rainy day. I have a couple hours to get away. So. I think I'm done for the day. It's all I can do for now. Until I get that coolant sensor. That coolant plug hose barb thing majigger but yeah i'll get that hopefully tomorrow i should go i'll have that i'll go to the hardware store look for that fitting and then we'll go from there and then i'll update you as soon as i can but hang in there guys more work coming